afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo on a windy, windy uh, <laughs> Thursday afternoon. And I've got a great Class A diesel motor home we're going to review today. We took this unit in on trade. This is a 2006 Tasca Ellipse. And this is a model 40 FD. And guys, it is very, very windy out today. I could barely even get my drone to get some good roof shots of it. So they may look a little wonky. I didn't even put the awning out, guys. Uh, I tried to, it was just too windy and I put it back in. So I do promise you though, that the, I did try the main awning. It does work. I just didn't want to risk ripping it. So, and it does have the acrylic cloth material, but uh, with the Illumina Guard. This is, of course, the task is top of the line in 2006, Ellipse series and uh, this is the 40 fd it's 39 feet 11 inches long with four slide outs you've got two sets of opposing slides this thing has got a ton of space on the inside built on freight liners evolution chassis <coughs> which is a uh, a collaboration between winnebago who builds a tasca and freight liner basically guys it's just a beefed up freight liner xc chassis i mean they try to oversell it a little bit but it, does, it is a little bit thicker frame than the XC, just a little bit, but other than that, it, just consider it a Freightliner XC chassis. Uh, of course, full air brakes, air suspension, got a 7.2 liter Caterpillar turbo diesel, the C7, 350 horsepower, 860 pound feet of torque with a 10,000 pound tow capacity. Uh, folks had this thing, uh, they traded it in on a very late model Jayco Red Hawk Class C I had. They just wanted something smaller to do the state park and the older park thing. And, you know, hey, different strokes for different folks. Our needs change as we, uh, as you know, the longer you stay in RVs, you go big, you go small, then you go big again. And, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Been there myself. But nice coach. I uh, got 92,000 miles on it. Doesn't hurt it. We're going to drive it later in the video. It's a diesel, guys. Not going to hurt it at all. See, I've got the bays open. They look great. Hope. I hope the wind's not drowning out my voice. I won't know till I get through with the video and hear it on my computer, but I do have a little outside radio place for a TV if you want to add one. Um, storage, I got these neat little storage trays, toolboxes. Batteries are good. It does have the Coleman two ton plus basement AC that's working great does have the 7500 onan diesel generator running right now powering everything inside and everything looks good out here guys 10,000 pound tow capacity uh looks like they made some kind of a homemade exhaust tip but hey if it works of course being a winnebago it is a one-piece seamless fiberglass roof let me pop a drone up real quick and I'll show you the roof. Be right back. So guys, you can see for an 06 model, that roof looks great. And um, everything looks good on this side. I mean, it's full body paint. You know, this is a very high end motorhome back in 2006. Still a very nice one today. Got the Alcoa wheels. A little bit of fading on this side. Obviously, this side may have been exposed to the sun just a little bit more. I mean, certainly nothing real, real bad. I don't know if you can even see it on camera, but. You know, at the very worst case, you might need to put a, a buffing and waxing on it. Hydraulic leveling jacks. Of course, this being a Winnebago product, Winnebago actually built 80% of the parts in this RV. So even though this is an 06 and with any other brand, you'd be screwed. But on this one, guys, you can actually order parts directly from winnebagoparts.com or give them a call and the majority of parts on this RV you can still get. It may take a couple weeks, but you can still get them, guys. I've owned two Winnebago's, and my last Class A was a 2008 Winnebago Adventure that I had for many years. And believe me, guys, I've ordered several parts from Winnebago over the years just for it. 
and uh, got a great price on this one too guys 69.9 and you look on RV Trader um, there's two other 40 FD ellipses on there one of them's over a hundred thousand dollars the other one is ten or fifteen thousand dollars more this thing's got all the options it's got washer and dryer it's got a dishwasher four slides all the TVs all the furniture looks good um, it's got a satellite system on the roof power awning door and patio awning slide toppers I mean it's it's loaded guys um, I didn't even look up an ADA on it I'm I'm sure it's way on up there but um, if you want to pull it up just go to nadaguys.com just pull up a 2006 Itasca Ellipse 40 FD don't add any options just hit retail value and you see how far back a book we are it does have the triple camera system so you got side cameras as well as a rear camera let's look inside get out of this wind Woo. Now these people, these people took good care of it. It does have the auto level system too. So you can push a button right here by the door if you didn't want to mess with your jacks and it automatically level it. Uh, you got leather captain's chairs that look great. They both swivel for party seating. Go ahead and close this door, save this AC. I do love, it does have the seven foot, two inch tall ceilings, interior ceiling heights or a crowned roof and everything looks great guys look how wide open this area is this thing is huge uh, floor space of course like I said we are going to drive it later on in the video uh, camera system uh, let's see here that's a rear that is passenger driver side and back does have navigation touchscreen stereo 92,351 miles no check engine lights no warning lights full air brakes air suspension that dash air works does have the exhaust brake heated power mirrors all the goodies up here guys windshields look great does have the power um, day and night shade that covers the windshield for privacy so you can easily shut it off at night should have let's see here slide out controls everything should be right here if i remember right yep jack controls everything's right here slide out controls one easy to get to spot got your wipers cruise control flashers everything right here on the steering wheel and let's not forget air horn gotta have fun with that one right <laughs> um step back here guys wide open now the previous owners did remove the carpet and put linoleum down in the main walkway and just left the carpet basically in the slide outs which is fine it looks great they had a professional job i'd say they hired somebody professional to do it and if you didn't know better you think it was factory does have the large sectional sofa now when you bring this room in uh, this part right here slides in So I'll try to do this one-handed to give you an idea you just put that cushion out of the way Bring this cushion down again guys. I've never this is kind of hard to do one-handed But you bring this cushion down It goes on the bottom and then You slide this in you flip this catch up and slide in guys i may have to have two hands uh hang on one second i'll be right back sorry about that guys that was a two-hander job but uh you can see you have to bring that in to slide it bring the room in but uh or you leave it like this all the time it's up to you but that opens it up a lot more in here but remember guys it's going to be a little tighter when I bring these rooms in and you can sit down here I guess I could have put the TV on a better channel uh, but you got perfect view of the television I love the table and chairs and you can actually bring that table out 
it's locked in right now but you can unlock the table you can bring it out more toward the middle of the rv and put your leaves up and have a round table for four people to sit at uh television which i've got a weak signal on the antenna so i'm picking up a good channel sorry about that solid surface countertops led lighting at least on most of the lights are led some of them still have the older style bulbs bulbs because your tv's right there you get all that extra storage in the cab over and of course remember your front seats do swivel for party seating it makes it a little easier man it's just thing loaded like i said guys a lot a motor home for 69.9 let's look at the kitchen area the galley area out your kitchen area you got solid surface countertops notice guys that the previous owners did not break any of the stovetop covers or the sink covers are all there they're not cracked you do have your kitchen countertop that extends out uh, again, this is just like the sofa, except you can do this one-handed. This slides in and out as needed. You've got your dishwasher, which, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I've ever had enough dishes in an RV to warrant needing a dishwasher, but I know a lot of people, you know, that's just one of those things that, hey, if, if it's guided, it's nice. I don't know if I'd want to put that in one uh, if it didn't have one, you know. Induction cooktop. So don't have to worry about propane. You've got a microwave and convection oven. So this is an electric oven as well as a microwave. You do have a two-way 14 cubic foot nor cold RV refrigerator freezer that does work. It's clean, already getting cold. And freezer. Of course, we guarantee this is part of our major systems inspection that we guarantee to work is a refrigerator as well as a basement AC which is actually nice and cold right now. We should have a couple of slide out pantries right here. One on the bottom and one on the top. Does have a 2000 watt Freedom Xantrix Freedom Inverter. This is your thermostat for your true air, residential heat and air. Guys, what it is, it does not have the rooftop units. You may have noticed that from the drone shot of the roof. What this is, is a basement unit, and it's a 25,000 BTU, two-ton plus unit. So it's real similar to what you have in your own home, all electric, of course. And it gives you the benefit of being a lot quieter, more efficient than two rooftop units. You only got one unit to, to maintain and uh instead of two plus you get the added benefit of having gas furnace and an electric heat pump just like you have in your own home and it works pretty well too and um it's got that you look over here again 2000 watt there's your control panel for your inverter uh tells you how much power you're using got the lp the automatic lp valve you just turn it off and on uh got all your gauges and all that good stuff so step back here guys got a really nice bathroom bedroom area uh big ugly guy in the mirror doesn't doesn't come with it well it depends on where you're going got a really nice shower area i love the shower because of the extra tall interior ceiling height of seven feet two inches tall no skylight needed so that's one less thing you got to worry about and i love the ceramic tile floor so I do like that shower. And like again, guys, this is this is Winnebago's or Tasca's biggest and best in 2006. So this is a big step above uh, just a standard Winnebago or Tasca Sun Cruiser or a Winnebago Journey, something like that. Uh, got a, a porcelain RV toilet, residential style. Got a fantastic vent fan, so you know get the bad odors out of here. <laughs> You know, you got your bedroom lights on a dimmer, you can kind of set the mood. You even got a stereo back here, put some romantic music on and all that good stuff. Go back here, 
Big bedroom area, you do have a queen bed, 60 by any queen island bed, got a memory foam mattress that feels very comfortable. Does have a ceiling fan, large closet. It does have the washer and dryer combo. Probably hardly ever used like most of them, but it's got it. Eh, get away from me there. Keep in mind, I am standing right on top. Cedar line closet of that big 350 horsepower, 860 pound feet torque of a Caterpillar turbo diesel, that C7 block. Pre death, pre death, longer engine life. Very comfortable mattress. TV back here, newer TV. It's got the newer style day night shades. Um, does have the solid sliding door for privacy. Wow. Um, this is a lot of motorhome for the money, guys. It really is. And this is the lowest priced uh, 40 FD ellipse in the country right now that, that I can find online, at least right now at time of video production. But y'all y'all wouldn't expect any less from me now, would you? I mean, we're Parkway RV Center. RV's a big bow. I only show you the bargains. I mean, if you want to pay top dollar, go somewhere else. If you want bargains, you come here to buy. If you didn't, you know, if you didn't buy your RV from us, you paid too much. That's the only thing I can tell you. There's a lot of truth to that, because you know. Plus, not only do we save you a ton of money on the price, we don't have any of the upsells. We don't have any fees besides applicable sales tax. So not only are you pay the lowest price there is for this particular year making model RV but you know you're saving thousands of dollars in dock fees prep fees and all that stuff and you're not having to deal with dealerships trying to sell you extended warranties gap insurance uh all this stuff that's not worth the paper it's written on uh tire and wheel packages vacation packages and all that junk guys you know 69.9 you know, we don't charge you any extra if you bring your own money or if you go through your bank or our bank. It doesn't matter. We offer some great financing with approved credit and down payment. And um, you know, guys, we keep things easy, simple, and done. I mean, 69.9 includes our major systems inspection which at that low price, which I'm, in fact, I'm looking at BNAD on my phone right now. Um, well, I'm just, uh, you know, while I'm going through everything, which for that 69.9 price, I mean, we're going to make sure all your major systems work. Look here, guys. You can see I'm not BSing you. Uh, I'm selling it for five. I'm, I'm, I'm actually selling it for hundreds under low retail, and I'm selling it for, what is that, 16 thousand dollars or fifteen thousand dollars under average retail and i'm adding no options i'm not adding for the wash and dryer the full body paint and that's the nada guides jd power uh wait a minute that's a kd my bad i'll tell you guys uh 40 it's a 40 fd not kd which i don't think is gonna be much difference but hang on one second that's what i get for talking and and typing at the same time right but Anyway, ignore that. <laughs> Actually, the FD's got a bigger book. Uh, FD, and this is the right one. Hang on. You can see 2006 tax ellipse. No added options. $71,200 low retail and eighty-five eight average retail. I got it for $69.9. Boom. Like I said, look on RV Trader. I'm tens of thousands less than any other one on there for sale. Mine's in great shape. It's going to include a major systems inspection. We're going to make sure your major systems work. The major systems that we inspect and repair if they do not work are as follows. Please pay attention, guys. There's, there seems to be a lot of confusion about this. We, we make sure that your slide outs work, all four of them. If they don't, we fix them. We we'll make sure that your generator works and puts out. If it doesn't, we fix it. Um, we make sure that your 
well in most cases, I call it roof air but in this case a basement air conditioner we make sure it works it does but if it didn't we would fix it we make sure that your refrigerator and freezer gets to operating temperature which it is right now but if it didn't we would fix it we make sure that uh, your plumbing systems work we i haven't checked that yet but we will check that my text will after it sales we'll check your plumbing systems make sure there's no plumbing leaks check your faucet spigots toilet make sure your water heater works make sure your water gets hot make sure your water pump works um and these folks are just using this thing so I, I can't imagine stuff like that not working now i did try the awning the power awning it does work i just like i said because of the wind matter of fact I, I, it's rocking us right now you probably can't tell it in the camera but it's the wind is actually rocking the rv right now because i don't have the jacks down but we cover those systems we cover the steps make sure they work and we make sure the drivability is good. We make sure it stops like it's supposed to, shifts like it's supposed to, rear end's good, all that stuff. So um, we guarantee that all that to work at time of sale. Everything else is sold as is. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Like I said, we only guarantee the uh, plumbing, the the, the uh, refrigerator, freezer, the drivability, the uh, generator, slide outs, and uh, step. And air conditioner everything else sold as is so you, anybody interested in buying this or any other rv from us you need to do and i highly recommend that you before you buy this unit you need to come look at it inspect it for yourself everybody has a different opinion about what they consider to be a good condition rv uh, an 06 model which is what is that 17 years old everybody's got a different opinion about how nice a 17 year old motorhome is supposed to be for fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars back of nada average retail about how nice it's supposed to be before it's nice enough for themselves or their family and i say this thing's very nice for considering the age the price and the overall condition now the next person in my i, I like if i was going to give it one to ten i'd give it a nine out of ten now the next person, well, I never give anything a 10 out of 10 because there's no such thing as a perfect used RV. There's no such thing as a perfect new RV. The people, the salespeople like to make you think you're buying a perfect new RV, but there's not. In fact, the, the new ones most of the time have more problems than used ones. But, and except they cost three times as much. <laughs> I mean, gosh, I hate to see what something like this costs new, probably half a million dollars now, brand new. And, and here's the thing you buy this you buy something like it's brand new now the first three months you own it it's going to be getting service work getting uh, under warranty or factory defects repaired two or three months the first year you own it two or three months that you can't cap two or three months that you're making payments on it that you can't even use it so but here's what i recommend guys you need to do one or two things or both you need to come down look at this unit and inspect it for yourself drive it check it out really good before deciding to buy it and or hire a third party inspection i had some folks here this morning inspector uh he just left before i started filming really nice guy really competent guy did an inspection on a fifth wheel for a buyer uh passed the flying colors very he was very impressed with it um paid us a really great compliment because he goes to a lot of the dealerships in the area first time he's been here and he said you know he said our stuff is just the one he looked at even though it was four or five years old was in, was better than most other dealerships one and two year old rvs or fifth wheels he was he, i mean he just uh, he couldn't believe how nice it was and it was five years old so uh made you feel good but guys hire a third party rv inspection service i cannot stress to you how much peace of mind that will bring you if you're buying this thing especially if you're buying it sight unseen i mean yeah it's a few hundred dollars but in my opinion is well worth it me as a dealer i've bought these things uh in the last couple of years we've started using them on out when we buy from individuals from out of state when we buy them sight unseen we've been looking up uh, rv inspectors in the people's area that we're buying the rvs from and sending them over there to check it out and um you know we expect to work on anything we buy used i mean guys that's a fact of life Anything you buy used, you're going to work on, whether it's an RV, 
a car, a motorcycle, a boat, a house. If it's used, you're going to work on it. That's that's why you're buy, that's why you're paying sixty nine nine instead of five hundred thousand dollars for a new one. But even on a new one, you're going to work on it. But um, that's to be expected. But you know what? That's why I tell people we make sure the major stuff that can ruin your trip works when you pick it up. Like a slide out can not, not working can ruin your trip or a refrigerator not working can ruin your trip or a water heater or plumbing leak can ruin your trip. Uh, but we leave the Mickey Mouse stuff to you. Let's just say a light doesn't work or a drawer is off track or you've got a scratch or a ding, a den, a stain here, there, or whatever. That's not going to ruin your trip. That's not going to hurt nothing. But that's going to be it. We leave the Mickey Mouse stuff to you. We make sure the major stuff works. Anything else is up to you to check it or not check it or pay somebody to do a third party inspection for you, which is what I recommend. However, guys, this one to be an 06, really clean. It's not going to last long. It's way under book. It's way under um, what I should be selling it for, according to price guides and other websites on the internet, what everybody else is selling the same year making model for. I'm really underselling it for $69.9. But guys, that's how we sell them. We got a good deal on it when we traded for it, so I'm gonna pass that good deal along to the next owner. Or I could be a you know what process thing like everybody else, sell it for, you know, 90 grand. And uh, <laughs> and the next person that gets it is gonna use it for a couple of years and then try to get their money back out of it. It's a never ending cycle. Let's just keep these prices down, guys. That way, the next person that buys it can use it for a couple of years. They can sell it, give somebody else a good buy because they got a good buy in it, and then just keep the cycle going. That's how you bring prices down eventually. But um, that's how we sell them, guys. We price them to sell, not sit around. Uh, hang on one second. I got somebody at the door. Sorry about that, guys. I had some customers want to come in and take a look at it, so uh that's what i was getting at guys we keep our prices down so a you know people will travel for a bargain now if i want to price this thing the same as everybody else in rv trader and ebay and rvt and all these other websites i advertise on then mine's not going to stand out above everybody else's i mean if you saw this thing the same price everybody else's then you're not going to click on it first when people look for a certain year making model they're going to start at the lowest price one and work their way up I, I want Myers to be the lowest price. I want ours to be the first one you look at and the last one you look at and the first one you buy. I mean, that's that's how it works, guys. That's the way my grandpa started this place, you know, fifty over 50 years ago, back in 1968. And um, that's, that's how we price our stuff, guys. We make our dollar with 10 dimes instead of four quarters is one of his old sayings. We make less per unit, but we sell more. It's called being a volume dealer. We keep our prices down by keeping our overhead down. Now, you want to go to Rip Off World, one of these big corporate RV dealerships that spend millions and millions of dollars a year just on advertising. Guess what, guys? You're going to pay more for the same RV because they have higher overheads, so they got to make more profit to cover that extra overhead. It's simple economics. The more a dealer spends, the more they have to make. The less a dealer spends, the less they have to make. That's the difference between us and them. You go to these other dealerships, you're going to pay more for the unit. Then they're going to charge you up sales. Going to add additional ten, twelve thousand dollars to the advertised price. They're going to charge you two or three thousand dollars in dock fees, prep fees, and all this other junk. And uh, that's how a sixty-nine nine unit becomes a ninety thousand dollar unit before you leave with it. Even though it's advertised for sixty-nine nine, you pay ninety before you leave. Before you leave with it, happens to people every day. That's how they get you guys. They say you on payment instead of what you're instead of what you're paying for it. That's that's how that's how it works. Anytime a dealership starts negotiating payment, that's the worst thing you can do. Never negotiate payment. Negotiate price and how much you're financing. Always pay attention to that. Payment will always follow suit. Always insist on getting. Anytime a you're at a dealership and they're trying and you're in the business office or trying to sign you up on a, on a loan always get a written exact amount of how much you're financing and instead of how much more a month it asks your payment when they're trying to upsell you 
extended warranties and gap insurance and all this stuff. And keep in mind, all that stuff's not worth the paper it's written on. It's never going to pay, guys. These warranties do not pay. These aftermarket warranties or service contracts, you're just blowing thousands of dollars of your own money for something that will not pay when you need them to. I've dealt with them over the years. Um, but, you know, we used to carry them here because we thought they were a good service to our customers. They weren't. When they showed me where they were paying one out of three claims, we, we canned them right there on the spot. Told them to take their signs with them, take their contracts. We don't want nothing to do with them. What they were charging our customers and us, no. I'm sorry, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't a good service to our customers. And, um, and they were supposed to be the best one in the business too. That's what's so bad. <laughs> and the bad thing is, talking to other salespeople and and employees I have here that's worked at other dealerships, one out of if the fact that they paid one out of three claims, they were one of the best. That's what's sad. <laughs> that's really bad. <laughs> so guys, just because it says the word warranty doesn't mean it's all cracked up to be because it's not. Anyway, thank y'all for watching so much. I'm going to pause the video for a minute, and we're going to um, bring these rooms in, show you what it looks like with the slide-out's in, and then I'll get one of my salespeople to ride with me, and then we'll take it for a test drive, see how it drives down the road. I think you're going to be impressed. So hang tight, guys. We'll be right back in just a second. All right, everybody. I've got the rooms in, and as always, go outside. And make sure all your bays are closed, latched, and locked. Awnings up come inside make sure everything's clear on the inside make sure both front seats since these are opposing slide outs are clear of the slide out area come inside turn your motor off you've got uh, correction earlier i said all four slide outs are controlled from right here wrong only two slide outs are and you've got your locks for your slide outs right there you want to unlock them you want to bring them both in all the way you know as with any slide out system you bring them all the way in or all the way out there's no in between Quite a bit of difference in there. You bring them all the way in so the seals can connect. Still got full access to everything. Of course, like I said, you wanna make sure your couch sectional is folded in and you wanna set your chairs down because they're just freestanding chairs. Your table's locked in, so it's not going anywhere. And um, full access to everything in here. You got full access to your refrigerator, your kitchen, except you may have to hit your sink sideways if you need to use your sink. Uh, you still got microwave, dishwasher, all that good stuff. You lose your storage to anything underneath the sink, but all in all, you still got full access to your pantry, your bathroom, all that good stuff. Rear slide outs are controlled from right here, and you just bring the simply push them in, uh, push the button to bring them in. And really, no special prep, prep work involved here, just besides making sure your mirror closet doors are latched good and tight. So, Anyway, and uh, I forgot to mention too, we do take trade-ins and we do offer nationwide delivery. It's a dollar a mile round trip uh, if you need nationwide delivery. Uh, now, if you do have a trade-in coming back, it will be slightly higher depending on what your trade is. Um, just recently, and the reason I say that is because recently we had a customer that held us to that dollar a mile and they traded a fifth wheel in on a motorhome. So, we had to drive the motor home, take two drivers, one uh, following the motor home driver with a truck with a fifth wheel hitch. And then they both came back with the fifth wheel. So that was a pretty costly mistake. So that's why I sell people, if you've got a trade in, that it's gonna be more than a dollar a mile round trip. It, it, we just have to figure out what your trade is, how many drivers are involved, how many vehicles, and just and we'll, we'll be fair about it. All we ask you pretty much to do is just cover our cost on delivery. We don't make any profit on delivery just cover our cost so anyway so guys hang tight we're going to take it for a drive let me get uh, shane or one of the guys to film and see you in just a second from the driver's seat all right everybody now we're going to test drive this 2006 ellipse and got my good buddy shane going to be our cameraman going to ride with us and show him some love and uh give him a call or a text if you're interested in this motor home shane what's your number it's 423-347-8478 and this one won't last long either we already sold that one we did last night uh really fast so and it's just like that one this one ton of motor home for the money 
And guys, we do have some of the best prices on used Class A diesels in the country. There's no doubt about that. And um, we'll take this one out and see what she can do. Maybe we can get out of here better than we did last night. It's windy today, so we might feel the wind a little bit more. It's uh, been pretty gusty. You know, one thing I didn't mention about this Evolution chassis uh, versus the Freightliner XC, it does have a, a deeper wheel cut. It's got a 55 degree wheel cut uh, for your front wheels so you can turn a lot sharper. That's one thing I have always noticed about the Evolution. So, you know, Freight, the Freightliner's always had a decent turning radius, but the Evolution's actually a little bit better. And we'll see what this thing can do going up this hill. Oh, yeah. I don't know about you, Shane, but these seats are comfortable. They are very <laughs> nice. Like I'm sitting in a recliner. They yeah, feel good. Transmission shifting smooth. I don't, uh, just like that one last night, you can barely feel the shift. Nice and quiet. And I've got the generator running up front, too. Definitely can feel the wind blowing us up. <laughs> and really, guys, I mean, nothing to be scared of. You just got to keep your speed down. Of course, you need to do that anyway. But we'll get on in a little bit, get on the interstate. I will say this, that C7 Cat is uh, one of the more dependable motors you can get on a Class A. And we hit about 60. I'm not going to go no faster than this in this wind, but uh, I'm still able to control it pretty good. It's nice and smooth. I'm not fighting anything besides the wind. I mean, we'll try the exhaust brake too. Get off the engine here. Exhaust brake does work.
Yeah, this thing feels great, guys. Tires feel great. Uh, brakes feel great. Transmission shifts good. Even in this high wind, this thing's doing a fantastic job. Don't take my word for it. Come check it out yourself. Uh, give Shane a call or a text first. Make sure nobody's beat you to it. Shane, what's your number? It's 423-347-8478. And smash us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Thank y'all so much for watching, riding along with us, and uh, look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.